The TF1, TF3, TF5 are capable of recording in two ways. A stereo recording of the mix, either the master fader or the auxes, or recording multiple uh, stems into uh, software. Speaking of software, the TF series come with our flagship Nuendo Live, which is a specific version of Nuendo, but it's intended for live recording. And this is the dongle that allows you to actually launch the application on both Mac and PC. This is a very low profile, very um, low CPU usage software that is great to record for hours and hours nonstop. But please keep in mind, the computer doesn't necessarily need to be a powerful computer to do this, but you definitely need a separate hard drive, a 7200 RPM or 10,000 RPM with Oxford chipsets on it. So you, because recording 32 simultaneous outputs at the same 34 simultaneous outputs requires a lot of access to the drive. So in Uendo Live, I'll connect it to my computer. I have a sound, check one, two. I use one of the quick professional presets to actually access it. And remember, um, the difference between the two um, ways of recording, the stereo records just left and right of the master fader or the axis, but through Nuendo Live, via U one USB cable between the mixer and my computer, I can record 34 simultaneous stems into Nuendo Live all Logic, all Pro Tools, provided they allow you to um, have that many input buses. Not all software, not all softwares are made equal as far as allowing you to record that many input buses at the same time. But we're talking about new window now. So um, I'm just going to explain this with, with just one channel, and obviously you can see that it could be applied to multiple channels. But new window live via TF through the USB cable can record 34 outputs. And you may ask the question, well, why 34, 33, 34? One through 32, I understand. You have two banks of 16, but what is 33, 34? So one through 32 are one through 16, 17 to 32. 33, 34 is your master out as well. So you actually get best of both worlds. All right, so let's look at new window here. And now, I'm gonna just select a simple project. I'm gonna open a project and I'm gonna choose the destination. Remember, this is where you need a separate hard drive to do this. But for this example, I'm gonna actually put it on the desktop because I'm not really recording anything, just, just demonstration. So on the desktop, I'm gonna call, create a new folder. We'll call this Pitbull. Let's call it PB. Create and open it. As you can see, it automatically populated all my 34 buses automatically. And if I arm the track, you can certainly see my voice. Again, this is just a one layout pick, um, screen of all the functions that you need to do there. There's nothing else that you need to do. It shows you information about the drive, the maximum recording time, etc., etc. And to record, I simply hit you know, I can arm all the tracks if I want to. In fact, let me do that. Pretend actually I have a lot of inputs going on. I simply hit record. And now I'm recording 34 simultaneous outputs out of the TF into New Ender Live. And it's that simple. Once I'm done, get out of record mode. And now actually I have recording. In this case, I only have one channel being recorded just because of a demonstration. But in fact, you can see multiple channels being recorded at the same time. This is huge because now we can go post-production and cut dead silence or change the mix of the band to come up with very high quality, 48 kilohertz, 24 bits quality of audio that you can manipulate, chop, and maybe add plugins, master it and produce very high definition audio. That compiled with video recording, the two together, sync, sync them together, you have very high end media that you can share to promote the band or the event or the church or whatever venue that you're recording in this. This is uh, the recording capabilities of the TF. Thank you for watching.